And then the um, Elon Jet thing happened. So, like, uh, apparently, according to T- TMZ, TMZ <laughs> Elon Musk says a crazy stalker uh, attacked uh, my car with my son inside. Um, which I find bananas. A spokesperson for LAPD tells TMZ uh, the department's threat management division is looking into an incident and is in touch with Elon's team. As of now, there's not been an official report filed. So a lot of people are saying, like, he didn't file an official report for this. And then Elon posted this video on Twitter um, with the guy who jumped on the hood. Apparently, this Elon Jet account tracks where his jet is. Uh, just to let you know, the background. Elon tried to bu- get this guy off Twitter for $5,000 in the past. The kid wouldn't do it. He said, I'll do it for Tesla. And it, and it went la, 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 la. Elon said, if I buy Twitter, I'd even let him track my jet. I believe in free speech. He's the kind of guy who's so rich, he can fly his son to see him from L.A., up to San Francisco on his private jet. He flies his son back to his mom on the private jet, apparently, 40-minute flight. The jet comes back to L.A. Car picks up his son, Lil X, not to be confused with Lil Nas X. And someone, a crazy stalker, according to Elon, follows the car, jumps on the hood of the car, and starts attacking the car. He posts this video, says it's this guy. I'm not. Yeah, What's pretty sure. Name? Gotcha. What's your name? And then he posts his license plate, which TMZ has blurred out. So Elon then, because his son's attacked, again, he's emotional when it comes to children, bans his Elon Jet account. Media starts picking up the story that he's banned this this account. Because Elon said he'd make it free speech, and because he's making such a big deal of, of all these other accounts being banned, you know, in an unfair, uh, technocratic manner, the media is making a big deal. The mainstream traditional media is making a big deal out of him banning people. So they pick up that he's banned this jet account that tracks his jet. They post that that jet account is still posting jet location for Elon Musk on Mastodon. And then Elon starts banning the accounts of everybody in the media that links to that account um, on Mastodon. (sighs) So this leads to six or eight journalists being banned on Thursday night. The media loses their mind. They all come come uh, after him. Now it's character attacks, angry, irrational, erratic. The, this is Elon Musk Twitter. It's not about doxing. It's about Elon. Elon says, you give my Jets location, you put me, you put my family at risk. People argue this is public information. This is the argument of some people in our chat. Elon Musk is a hypocrite. He came in as a free speech warrior, then bans accounts that portray him in a negative light. This isn't entire, entirely intellectually accurate either. Honest, if we're like, look, when you make a new policy just to start banning a specific account, you're doing the exact same thing that you're pointing out in the Twitter files. Trump did nothing to get banned from Twitter by Twitter executives own admissions to say the twitter files are a nothing burger no it shows that they would figure out what they wanted an outcome to be we want this guy banned we want these kinds of tweets banned we want these words banned this other reporter who's not even part of the twitter files released um these logs of these words they were banning anything that said like dims uh ballot tampering they were banning these words from tweets. They they wouldn't get elevated to get, you know, shadow banned or, you know, de promoted or whatever the fuck they want to say. So anyway, you know, it's not fair. 
to say that Musk is a hypocrite because he's banning journalists that portray him in a negative light. No, he was banning specific accounts that were linking to his jet information. Now, the second argument um, that everybody comes in with hard is what Adam Jones is throwing up now, where he says it's not doxing. It's public information. People can track anyone's jet at any time. And this is true and not true, unfortunately. Um, it's just not true. The, so you can track anybody's jet by the tail number, by the end number. Um, but there's a private registry that people with private jets are allowed to join. They pay money for this. And it hides their information. Now, with enough combing through logs and searching and figuring out when certain plane IDs disappear and when new ones appear, apparently every month the number changes, you could do a little intelligence work and go, it's probably this. It's probably this one, judging on where it flies and that this is a new number and yada, yada, yada. So... It's not necessarily public information. He had his, his his whole plane information was hidden, paid to be hidden. You couldn't look up his tail number and track his plane, um, like you could, like you can most planes. So it's not exactly that. Um, but this kid wrote an AI. He wrote essentially wrote a program that kind of like figures out what's most likely to be Elon's jet and just goes with it. So is it public? Yes and no, but it's, it's, um, it's something that we're going to have to deal with more and more as we get into this digital information age, because you know, it's not doxing, right? If it's already publicly out there, it's not doxing. Well, what if it's not really out there? Someone has to make a guess, and then they post their guess online. I think it's this jet. Now it's kind of doxing. Or if you figure if you figure it out, let's let's do this, you know, thought experiment. If you figure it out, and no one knows it, you just kind of like look at a bunch of puzzle pieces and go like, it, I I think it's this jet, but based on the movements and the da da da. I think it's this jet. The one I thought it was last last month disappeared, and now there's this new one, and it moves like this, and I think it's this jet. And then you publish, this is Elon's jet. Here it is. It's not that no one else can figure it out. It's that... Yeah, I don't know. Look, these things aren't black and white. And, but that's also why policies shouldn't be implemented, you know, now and then, like, to start banning people. These things have to be thought out. And then, now he's doing, like, polls. Should I unban the journalist now in seven days, 30 days, never? It's like, this is getting real muddy real fast, Elon, with the polls. As if polls can't be. And look, he's doing a lot of good things on Twitter. All the advertisers are coming back. He's he's almost eradicated bots from showing up in the platform. I signed up for Twitter Blue to support him and mostly to be able to edit my tweets. I make tw tweet mistakes all the time. And while I can't edit my tweets now, I signed up three days ago. I don't have my check mark. Where's my check mark? So there's a lot going on. Tesla's, you know, going down in value. I sold it. I'll pick it up when it drops another $50. I'll pick it up again. But he's clearly um, spread himself a little thin now. I don't know. It has to be better at Twitter than it was a week ago, right? He's figuring out who he can rely on and what positions. I imagine they're hiring a few people here and there. 
for the holes they have. I'm sure he's still firing people here and there. But just like everything else, everyone's lying um, on both sides. My Twitter feed's been a hot mess since he took over. What are you talking about? You got to give me something. I, I call horse shit. You know, I don't know what, what's wrong with all of you. Uh, my Twitter feed wasn't crazy wild before, and it's not crazy wild now. <laughs> It's been a hot mess since he took over. I mean, you sound like one of those people who, like, the day he walked in there with the kitchen sink, that dumb trope, you were like, um, the racism's way up. It's like, he hasn't even touched anything yet. Your Twitter feed's been a hot mess since he took over? Really? Why doesn't everyone exaggerate more, you fucking loons? It's the set. It's exactly the same. You liar. You're lying. What? Because people are arguing about Twitter on it. Is that why it's crazy? That's the only difference. I think everyone's fighting about Twitter on Twitter. It's been a hot mess. It all works. What doesn't work? No, it's just people insulting each other and being mean. What was it before? Just, just is strumming a fucking ukulele and we all singing somewhere over the rainbow? Get bent. <laughs> you paid for Twitter. What a dork. <laughs> um, Tim Pool, bald beanie man. Posted about, I don't know the technical stuff. Apparently he, he looked into it. Or knows about it. Um, Jack Sweeney was not posting public information. Sweeney was posting private information um, of Elon Musk. Elon had a private uh, PIA, which seeks to protect privacy of entities, private aircraft. So the problem is, number one, this is a gray area. If Twitter wants to make a, a policy... Where you can't post anybody's real-time location, okay. But you have to give people like a little notice of that. You can't start banning them that afternoon. 